Hey, we just went through another week of misery seeing the trading of BNGO, but we're back. I got some big news for you. Last night, I was uh, kind of closing things up around here, and uh, I got a message. And the message was some, from somebody special. Matter of fact, it was from Eric Homeland. And uh, it was really something really special to me to, to actually hear from the CEO of a company that I'm so heavily invested in. For one, I've been very direct with my criticism of BNGO. Number one, I said, we can't be sure that these uh, hedge funds are buying the stock uh, and holding it. Second, I said, wow, it could either be people selling because they saw the price drop or it could be people shorting. Speaking of shorting, that's why I got my jorts out. Actually, I made these jorts yesterday. Jorts for the shorts. Now, getting back to the conversation, I can tell you this right now. It looks like we've kind of come through the woods, and it looks like the shorting is over because news is coming. Now, why would Eric Homeland contact a roofer with a million shares? I'm just a roofer. This is my thoughts. I think he contacted me because he heard the things I was saying. He heard that I said, hey, Eric, I don't think you're a very good presenter. Maybe Oldakovsky Olde should be presenting. He heard, hey, you have the CFO from Tesla. Maybe he should talk about the finances only. And he probably heard that, hey, I'm glad you're in charge, Eric. I really appreciate it. Now, Eric, I'm going to tell you straight out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for contacting me. I'm going to keep this simple. Eric contacted me with one simple message. He said, Mark, and all of a sudden, to me, he became human. I hope you recover from your heart problem. That, to me, brought a new vision, a new humanity to BNGO. Because as we all know, Eric is really not that soft around the edges. He's just kind of straightforward and he keeps on the subject of what BNGO can do regarding structural variations and their equipment. But to hear from Eric, I think that's something we all should pay attention to. Read into it any way you want. I think that the things that I've been saying are probably something, even what I said about how I think something big is coming from BNGO. Now, I don't really know anything. I'm a roofer. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you this too. Last video, I said, I'm not going to do any more roofing. Yikes. I was on three different roofs today. I just can't stop myself. But that's really going to stop. So getting back to this, Eric Holman contacting me is big news for all of us because he's listening. That's what you have to know. He's definitely listening to people like me that make complaints. A lot of the YouTubers you listen to, they only want to tell you the good things. But I ask questions. I ask a lot of questions because I've run a business for 42 years. Listen, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. And let's hope BNGO goes to the moon. Again, this is not financial advice. Don't take anything I say as advice. This is just giving you feedback of things that really happened to me. I'm only going to tell you the truth. I'm trying to get newsweed off the ground. I just spoke to Adam. Uh, from New York City. He called me up on my 215-219-7699 number. And all he wanted to say is, Mark, it looks like you're trying to build community. Well, guess what? Since I'm seven years old, I just love people. See you guys around. Have a great weekend. Those of you ready to go to sleep in Europe, those are people that are in the U.S., have a great weekend too. See you later. Bye-bye.